Chris brought up a point that maybe the game at Toronto should have won could have been tonight as opposed to Monday night. Is that just the way hockey goes sometimes? Yeah, certainly. I mean, we, we did a lot of things that we wanted to do, some things <clears throat> that we didn't whenever you give up four, whatever the circumstance, you're not pleased about that. A team that wants to be solid defensively, obviously. A couple pucks, you know, floaters and pucks bounced in and um, scrambly plays. It's hockey. They're a good team. They found a way to win. That's the way it goes. We'll be ready to go tomorrow. What's usually key for you more than going against lines like that? I mean, there's a lot. Uh, you know, you want to keep them on their half of the ice as much as possible. Don't give them any space. I mean, they could be here all day. Um, but keep them off the board one way or another. Didn't do that tonight. That's bottom line. Your goal just a matter of getting a puck on net. I know you had Johnson and I think Connor in front to help out. Yeah, that's all Brownie. Great effort by him getting in front, taking his eyes away. There's no goal without presence there. And I think Johnny kind of might have flashed by also, which makes it even harder. So that's the goals for the D when we're out that far. That's that's all about the forwards taking his eyes away. And, you know, forwards get credit for that. In general, what did you see at Fallon Fight? Did, did you like most of what you saw? A lot of things. I thought we had a lot of good shifts in their end. A lot of time in their end. It seemed like we had a lot of offensive zone draws, so we were keeping them kind of on their half. Um, you know, like to get more, more than two. Their goaltender played extremely well. They battled very hard, and you know they got some great skill. They had some chances uh, where we were going up ice, some odd man chances the other way, or pucks in front, and they found a way to get those in.